yesterday in Osaka and today we're gonna do something that we love the most. Eating between sweet and salty stuff, Japan has a lot to offer. So let's have a look in the street. And we are actually back in the famous district of Dantanburi for the third time. But it's actually where we're gonna find the most of the stuff we want to try. There is really a lot of things. We are in the line of our first stop of the day. Uh, it's a little cute corner in the main streets of Donburi. And here they are selling uh, the famous takoyaki. The main ingredients of takoyaki is octopus that I don't really like, but I'm definitely gonna try it and tell you how it tastes. And you probably love it so much because you love it. I love it. Here we are. We have to decide now what we want. There is mayonnaise sauce. We don't know which kind of sauce. Wasabi actually. Green onion can be good. It's too many pieces for the beginning of the day, so I think we go for this one. Six pieces. And even if we could took four, that would be perfect. Thank you. It's really nice. Yeah. Really nice. Okay, let's try the takoyaki. Pretty excited. Like everything we tried. Oh, it's pretty hot. It's really good. It's creamy inside. Like the inside is not totally cooked. So that's pretty good. There is some herbs on it and you can feel the octopus but it's not that chewy, it's pretty good. It's really cut in like in dice. Mm. What do okay. you I'm gonna explain something. I don't like two things about this thing. I don't like an octopus. And I really don't like ginger, so that's a big problem and that's actually the main ingredients of this dish, so it's not good for me, but I'm definitely sure that Rama loves it, so I think... Really? No, it's not for me, I'm sorry. More for me? But if it's from fish, I will definitely eat it. Fish will be perfect. It's really crazy because Japanese people are crazy about those takoyaki. There is line, I swear, minimum 50 meters. And it's not like if there is only one shop, it's absolutely everywhere in this neighborhood. And the price of the six balls of takoyaki is 500 yen. So now we're gonna try the okonomi yaki. It's like a pancake with, again, octopus. And this time they add pork and we add some extra cheese on the top. It's look pretty good and it's made in front of us. But this time we cannot eat on the street. We have to go inside of the restaurant. It's pretty cool. There is like a good atmosphere here. Yeah. Thank you. Six hundred, please. I pay here. Okay. Okay. I'm coming back. What the hell is that? Why it's moving? What the hell is that? Why it's moving on the back? I know that we already saw this kind of little leaf somewhere and when it gets hot, they are like moving and twisting. It's pretty fun because it really looks like it's alive. I can't wait to try that. He put some mayonnaise like I told you on the top and some cheese 
and those leaf things. I don't really know what is it, but I would say it's a fish leaf, mm, something fish. Cheese, octopus, let's go. Mmm, yeah. It's really good. It tastes a bit like the takoyaki. It's in the same kind of family, I think, if I can say that like that. You prefer? I much more prefer. Yeah? It's kind of big, you don't need more than one to be really full. We have to be careful because if we eat a full one like that, we're never gonna be able to finish this video. I have a huge my mouth Deal with it. I am. Look at the leaf, that's still moving. It's pretty fun because the piece of octopus are really big compared to the takoyaki just before, where they are cut in little parts. Here you can really, really feel it. So if you like octopus, that's for you. If you don't like octopus, that's not for you. But she actually like it. Yeah. You just have to, you know, select and remove the big piece. But I did it. I eat it. It was not so bad. Okay, let's speak about the price. Uh, we paid 500 yen for this uh, okonomiyaki, and we pay an extra cheese for 100 yen. So that's still pretty okay. And it was very good. I like it. You know, in Japan, they have a lot of things that we don't have in our country, especially a Coca-Cola peach. That's pretty weird. And Christina is really happy because Christina loves Coca-Cola. So Christina is going to try in front of you. But I probably not like a peach, but let's try. It's pretty good, huh? Yeah? Yeah. I never really liked the Coca-Cola taste, like vanilla, sherry, blah, blah, blah. It's not that bad, huh? Mm. It tastes like Coca-Cola peach, maybe like a little flower. <laughs> I think it could be more sour. of the most famous crab place in downtown Buri. There is this huge crab just over us. It's pretty fun. And you can buy absolutely everything about crab here. Everything. I don't really know what am I going to try. I'm saying I, because I know that Christina won't try it. And it's look pretty good. I love the kind of seafood and I especially love crab. And the line is not that long for one time. And even in the line you can try some free sample of a kind of weird sauce thing. I don't know what is it. Christina tried. It's pretty good. It tastes like surimi, uh, the little things. I don't know how it's called. <laughs> surimi. <laughs> Crab socks? Yes. Crab wallet? Crab candy? Almost my turn and I have absolutely no idea what am I going to take. I'm gonna try it. Christina is discovering crab <laughs> on the 19th of March 2019. <laughs> Thank you. I know that is the inside of the crab, but I don't know how it's going to taste like. Doesn't really look attractive. <laughs> There is also some piece of crab. You know this kind of taste? Your brain is like, your brain and your tongue are like half shared. Like, a part of me is like, oh, it's pretty good. And the other one is like, so disgusted by it. But I will not say that it's not good. I kind of like, it's special. Mm. This is so good. Oh, of course it's so good. That's real crap. That's really good. 
the crab of Christina is pretty good, but the thing is, um, they don't put any spice on it, so it does look like a lot like the one we can have in our country. So nothing special about it, but it's still pretty good. And Christina, for the two little piece of crab, paid 900 yen. So that's pretty expensive. And me, for my weird um, crab sauce, I paid, Christina, I don't remember, 500 yen. That's pretty correct. But the crab is actually always expensive. They actually burn the crab on the fire, so it has this really good smoky taste on it, and it's really nice. Mm. It's uh, really hard to get it. <laughs> I wish they give you like a little instruction manual how to use, how to eat it. <laughs> Here in the middle of the main street there is this big stand called Kobe beef and I guess you know the Kobe beef is one if it's not the most expensive beef in the world uh, and Kobe is actually located at one hour of train from here so it's not that far and you can choose between uh, five or six different kind of Kobe beef and yesterday actually we tried the really cheap one so the lowest price and it costs really a lot and if you want the best part of the beef that's like really really expensive and here for example you can have a Kobe beef sushi and the one piece it's 800 yen I don't know if we're gonna try again but that's really really good and the beef is like so tender we tried like I told you the lowest price and it was already really tender so I guess if you take the really expensive part wow really good experience hey Christina I think is done with the octopus and crab I'm more like the sweet person so now we're going to try two sweet plates I'm really excited this yeah. look really good it's called freshly baked melon pan we don't really know the Japanese name actually but it's like uh, a kind of pancake with a cream inside like matcha tea what I'm going to take vanilla melon and fluffy bread with crispy yeah let's call it the fluffy bread yeah, I think it's more like a bun something like that a bun <laughs> I think it's a good one can I have the vanilla? vanilla one I already know it's going to be super good. I think I got that one. What? Thank you. 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 It's good? So good. It's a crispy, fluffy with the ice cream. And the vanilla ice cream is super good. Really. Yeah? Mm. It's for the ice cream? Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh, it's so cold. Ooh. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Yeah, that's super good. It's really nice. Mm. And the guy just opened. If you come here in a few hours, mm. the line is like 10 meters. It's really, really, really good dessert. Mm. And not fat at all. <laughs> and it costs you 400 yen. Second sweet thing of the day. Uh, it's a rice dumpling and you have the choice between matcha, mitarachi and kinako. Don't ask me, I have no idea what is it except matcha and it's what I'm going to take. Love it. Thank you. Oh, I love, already love it. 
He took this plain rice dumpling and dip it first in the green tea sauce and after in the matcha powder. And, like, and it's falling. And it's falling. Okay, I'm gonna try it now. Mm, so good. Yeah? So, so good. It's like the rice dumpling and a sweet sauce on it. Oh no! Mm. Dumpling is really fresh and really good. You try that. <laughs> Yeah, pretty good. It's really fresh. On the rice bowl is pretty fluffy and a bit chewy. It's nice. For one stick, we just paid 200 yen. And if you want to buy three and try all of them, you can pay it for 500 yen. But you notice this stand, and they are selling a mozzarella dog. It's like a hot dog with of cheese, and we cannot say no to cheese, right? No. <laughs> well, it's maybe not the most local dish ever, but actually we are surrounded by Japanese people, so we have to try. But we have to wait for 10 minutes to get our mozzarella dog. I think it's kind of a Japanese junk food. It's cool to try. This time it's for us. Junk food forever! Let me put some cheese! Let's <laughs> go! Ah, I hope it's going to be full of mozzarella. So it's a deep fried mozzarella. It's good? It's inside. No, no, no. What's happening, Christina? The biggest one. Love it. It's a really nice snack for 450 yen. This street food video is now finished. We tried to show you the best we could. We hope you enjoyed with us and we will try to do more of these videos during our trip in Japan. Bye, see you in the next one.